Hello everyone. In this video, I want to go over a new feature that Heptabase just released and it's called chats. There's two different kind of chats here. There's a just a regular chat that you can do within the, the platform itself. So if you want to leave yourself some kind of note or comment or leave um, a, you know, a note or a comment chat for other people that you might be sharing and collaborating with. So I'm going to show both of these. I won't get into the, I guess, the, the more collaborative one since I don't have another user that I can kind of show that with. But um, you, you'll get the basic gist of how it works. And I did want to go a little bit deeper on the AI chat. I recently published a video that goes a little bit deep into comparing Heptabase and uh, Nodi. And what one of the criticisms or um, comments that I had about their AI feature and Heptabase was that there was no chat type functionality and in this video here or you know just recently here they just released this particular feature so I wanted to dig into it as this was something that I was was looking forward to all right so we're in the chats area if we look here in this left pane we now have a new chat and in this chat area you're going to have all the chats will show up here and you have a couple different icons on how you can view your chats one is to view the all chats from this view here. The other is to click on the whiteboard chats and then you can drill in to the particular whiteboard that uh, will have specific chats on them. Those are probably a little bit more for the for the uh, for collaborating with other people on those different whiteboards where that makes a lot of sense. But in either case, you can view either per the whiteboard or you can just come in here and you can view all chats. So let's go ahead and create a uh, AI chat and start working with it just to see how it works and some of the, the functionality that it has. All right, so we're in the AI chat window here. We can see it's currently in beta is what they have on here. So there obviously will be some improvements needed and maybe some some uh, bugs here and there that, that might come along with this particular feature. So far I've been using it and I haven't seen any issues, but I haven't really been using it that long. But we'll go ahead and walk through it and you'll kind of get a, a real world type view of me using the app and you will see anything that goes wrong. You'll, you'll write in the video. I'm not going to remove any of that type of stuff. So my editing is usually strictly to my mess ups versus the application itself so let's go in here and let's actually start chatting with this here and we'll put in here um who is the current president of america and let's go ahead let's correct a little bit of spelling there and let's see what we do one one thing here with the ui let me kind of dig into this a little bit is that you have the ability to have ai chat and you also can turn this off and you can just do regular chats so you can see how this changed to general chat and the ai options disappear uh, this is how you can change this between the ai and just regular chats that you would have in your system for either again as reminders to yourself or collaborating with others let's go ahead and switch that back to ai chat another note is that you get two different types of ai chat you get the basic and you also get the premium. So if you look here at the UI, it says basic is faster and cheaper, premium is better and higher priced. Um, yeah, so you get those two options here. Next to that, you also get a little light bulb for which it shows thinking. And for this here, what this does is highlight the reasoning models or thinking models um, for AI and gives you a little bit different um, models that you can select from. So in the basic one here without the thinking uh, selected, so I can select it, you see it turns blue, I'll undo that. You also might have noticed that this change when I click that thinking to the Gemini 2.5 flash model, where before I had it on the um, uh, the, the OpenAI uh, GPT-40 Mini. Um, you, these are the two options that you get in the basic option over here. And again, if I click on that thinking, we'll see that that instantly changes to the Gemini model. We'll undo that one there and change it back to OpenAI. And let's go ahead and change this to premium. And now when I change this to premium, we see that it changed to the Gemini 2.5 Pro model here. And if I click on this list, we get GPT 4.1. 
we also get clawed for sonnet and we get clawed for opus options here and this is without the thinking turned on there so we'll go ahead and click on the thinking option and let's see what we get now we have the Gemini we have the O4 mini O3 open AI models and then we have the clawed for sonnet and opus models that are available to us so depending on whether you want the do more like uh, research, uh, uh, deep research thinking type of um, responses to come back, then you click on this option. If not, then you can unselect this and use the models that are uh, pertinent for the actual use case. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this back to basic. And one thing to note as well is that with these particular models, there's also a couple different ways uh, you, can, you can use the AI here and you already get the the uh the general insights that were provided previously where you didn't have any control as far as a prompt or anything you just click the button and it does what it what it does and you you use up actual credits that you're you're provided for free or you can say it just comes with the product so you are paying for it but uh, they are limited now what you can do is and what's required here is that you need to actually put in an api key so they're not giving you um, free um, uh, free credits for this yet i did see that it's apparently the free credits are coming uh, but i have no idea on what the timeline on that is for the the, the chat feature to get those or uh, to be able to leverage uh, your monthly credits that you will get that's just included with the product so for now you will have to put in an API key you do get the option to put in the the Google Gemini key the open AI key and an anthropic key for if you want to use all those different models if you only want to use uh, just one then just put your API key into the one and never select the models for the other ones and you'll be fine now when you go to set this up you do have a get api key that you can select, that you can click on it'll take you to the website uh, that'll give you instructions on how to get your key if you haven't done this before so that's helpful and then once you get the key you basically just paste that key in here um, and do a verify it will verify that key it will turn green and once it's green then you are good to go now I have all of the different models here set up already, so I won't go through those. The process is the same, so you can easily do the other ones with this basic instructions. Go to the site, get your API key, put it in, verify it, and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna come back in here to the chat, and let's go ahead and click this uh, send again, and it should work. So we can see here it is generating here, and it's using the uh, Gemini model and it gives us back a response so quick and easy if i go ahead and i change this to the open ai model um, we'll see how this will work it looks to still be going here I'm not sure if it's actually finished yet okay so now it's finished there i'm going to send it the same command but use a different model let's go ahead and send that it's generating And it comes back with basically the same the same answer as we got above, uh, but with a little bit more information here on the uh, OpenAI model. Uh, but both of them basically get, gives you the the same information. And if we go into the the actual premium models, we get access to the Clog Sonnet and Opus models. So we can do the same thing. Where basically you're going to see the same the same thing just goes um, does work and it comes back with the same responses all right so the response comes back I'm not going to go ahead and do the other one um, these do like when you when you do hook up these API keys there is uh, probably going to be a cost on the other side I know for sure that the you, you will get charged directly for the open AI one uh, and for the um, for the Claude or Anthropic API keys, you will need to have a some some amounts of credits available to you. 
for the google one, i did not actually put in any any ah billing or anything like that when i got the key for that there. so i think you get actual you know some free credits that you can use when you're using that model. i'll have to dig into that one to verify that that's the case. so just be aware that the the api keys that you leverage for this here could have a cost to them and more than likely will have a cost to them so when you use them or if you want to use this particular feature just know that there's going to be an additional cost for leveraging this here especially if you're going to use this a lot and also if you're going to use these thinking models here uh, that are going to be a bit more costly when you leverage those now we have a couple chats already here and uh, um, a few messages that we've already done back and forth let's go ahead and go to a go to, a, to one of the whiteboards and we can see how we can leverage this on a whiteboard here so right now we have i've clicked it on this lab one and it gives me the option to create a new chat here right away it has the lab um, whiteboard up here at the top if i click on this here i can go to all chats and this will show me all the chats that are available to me that i can start working with if i want to pull them onto the map i can click on it right there and it gives me all the information here that was in the previous view when i was in the chat view if i want to move any of these messages over i can do that also what i can do is i can move the entire chat over here as well onto the map so i have the chat you can have the the messages themselves if i come down we can see this i can have the messages themselves individually on here and then you can perform different actions on these here also so if i click on the the message here one option we can come in here and we can edit so I can edit this thing here and I'm just gonna put edit it right here and I don't think you get any formatting yeah you actually do get some formatting options that you can do here I'm gonna highlight that so we can see that's done I'm gonna select it there and if we go into this chat we should see that I made that edit we can see it right here so it does sync the edits um, back and forth. And if I want to, let me see, we click here. We can actually do a reply from here. If I do a reply, what, what it doesn't do here, that does not add the ability to reply in this particular message window. What it does is it goes and opens up the, the chat itself and it puts the prompt in the chat. So if I start typing here, we can see where it starts syncing the chat that I have on the, on the whiteboard and over here on the side panel. So just some options there for you, or at least kind of show how this, this works here. Again, you can move more one or two, three, however many of these messages you want to over into the side pane. You should be able to put the prompts in there as well. All this works pretty much like it does with the cards uh, that you can leverage over in the side pane and then pull things over. So this is pretty good. If I click on the three dots, you get options to edit the message, reply, start a new chat. You can copy the content, the link. You can put in remind me there and you can remove the message. So if I go ahead and remove the message, it removes it from the side. If I remove this one here, remove, we'll remove. And from here, we get the option to remove or we can actually delete. So if I come in here and I delete this, it should delete the entire chat and now I don't have any chats left here because that was the only one so this is basically how the you know this feature works it is currently in beta as I mentioned before so far I've not seen any any major issues with it you will need to connect it up to an API key for now um, and as I mentioned I did see that there's um, probably coming where you can leverage some uh, you know an allotment of credits that they just give you for free each month that resets one other thing before I end this is that within the settings now you have this AI feature and as I mentioned before you have you have the insight generator here you have your transcript you have your voice notes um, now you have the the um, AI chat and actually right here it does say currently requires an API key to use so that confirms that and then down here you can see all of your apis that you've configured you can delete them from here if you want to re redo them and you can come in here you can say use 
uh, monthly credits there. But again, once you, if you want to use the AI chat, you will have to switch that over. So if I change this here, and then I come here and I try to use it, we can see here that API key requires to use um, API key required to use AI chat. Monthly credits will be available soon. So it does look like that's coming. So that will be nice for those people that don't use this feature a lot and, and don't really need to have an API key. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking to subscribe to Help the Base, use the affiliate link below and you'll get a $5 credit and there's no additional cost to you. Also, I'll get a $5 credit for you using the link. Also, subscribe to my Substack channel. The link is down in the comments. And if you like the content enough and want to show your appreciation, you can also buy me a coffee. And until the next time, have a nice day.